Hey bitches, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk to you about Gabby Hanna, as well as a few other influencers that have a few things to say about Romeo Lacoste. If you have not already seen my video from earlier about Romeo Lacoste and his Keemstar interview, I am going to place a card in the upper right hand corner, as well as a link down in the description. If this is your first time on my channel, hello, welcome, how the fuck are you doing? If you could please hit the subscribe button down below, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are someone who has been here for a day, a week, a month, or a year, welcome the fuck back. If you could please make sure you have all of your notifications set to on by clicking the bell icon somewhere on the screen. Please know that everything I speak on in my videos is my own personal opinion. Opinions are not facts. And please do not send hate to anyone or any brand that I speak on in my videos because that is not what these are meant for. They are just meant for us to spill a little tea, throw a little shade, and have a messy ass time here on the internet. The downfall of Romeo Lacoste continues as more and more influencers speak out about the situation. In my previous video, you guys heard some of Keemstar and Romeo Lacoste's interview that they did together, and it left a lot of people shocked. Well, Gabby Hanna had a lot to say. Gabby Hanna tweeted out the following, I usually try not to comment on other people's lives and situations as much as possible because God knows we all make mistakes, and no one has a perfect past. But this is one situation where I cannot hold my tongue any longer. This isn't some petty drama. This is a real heinous crime. She attached screenshots of her statement to that tweet. It goes as follows. To my young followers, please be careful. I know it may feel tempting to engage in conversations like this with people you look up to. But please keep yourself safe. If someone tries to speak to you like this, screenshot it, block them, and take it to the authorities straight away. Please don't take this as me trying to put the responsibility on you, as opposed to the grown adults who continue to take advantage of their young fans. I'm just willing to bet helping to prepare you guys for these situations is probably more likely to help than hoping grown men will stop preying on children. Do not let someone pressure you or make you feel uncomfortable. You are worth more than that. And if someone makes you feel like you have to say or do something you don't want to do in order to be cool or liked, then you don't want to support them anyway. I love you all very much and I want you to be safe. Unfortunately, I can't stop evil people from being evil, but I can help spread the word that this is not okay. If this happens to you, you are not responsible, and it is not your fault. But I want it to happen to as few of you as possible. There are very sick people out there, and I don't want to see any of you fall victim to that. Gabby continued with, To Romeo, You are a disgusting human being. What scares me the most about you is your apparent total lack of self-awareness, remorse, or even general understanding of the situation you've created for yourself. You were not taken advantage of. My jaw dropped and shattered when those words spilled out of your mouth. You are an adult, a public figure, talking to underage girls. You are abusing your power, taking advantage of the fact that these young girls want to be desired by their idol. Nobody, and I can confidently say nobody, cares that your fans were coming to you first. You, as an adult and a public figure with power, have the responsibility to act and behave appropriately. Yes, these 13 to 14 year old girls may have said they were almost 18, but the fact remains that they were under 18. No matter if they said they were 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, they were not 18. You were fully aware of the fact that, let me repeat it, they were not 18. You blatantly asked if she wanted to wait until she was 18 or do it before she was 18. I can't tell if you truly don't grasp this, or if you're just trying to pretend that you don't, but either way, it's sickening to watch. I have to give huge props to Gabby Hanna for speaking out in that manner, and not just putting out a tweet that's like, this is disgusting behavior, or wow, I'm shocked. No, that bitch went in. Ricky Dillon responded to Gabby and said, wow, go off, well said. Gabby responded with, I'm still shaking from anger from watching him try to explain his way around sexually harassing children and victimizing himself for being caught for sexually harassing children. Ricky responded back by saying, I could not believe the interview. Truly one of the most unreal things I've ever heard. Gabby responded with, Here's the thing though. Loopholes. They were hitting on me. I respect women and have four girls. Where's the proof? And here's the thing. You're an asshole. And also, here's the thing. I was taken advantage of. And also, I'm very respected in the community. Kodak Black. Ricky responded again and said the following. So here's the thing. I was new to fame in 2016. I didn't know how to handle all of these girls throwing themselves at me. Here's the thing. I don't remember if they were 15 or 16. Fame was hard to handle. It's a loophole. I'm the victim here. Gabby responded with, and also, here's the thing. We all have a freaky side. 
honestly, you could turn it into a drinking game how many times he said, here's the thing, or tried to go into a different direction that really did not answer any of the questions. Someone responded to Gabby and said the following. It made me so angry whenever he played the victim card. Gabby responded with, he didn't just play the victim card. He, the pedo, straight up said, I am the victim here. Another person responded to Gabby Hanna and said the following, I guess that's his karma for the dumb shit he said when the whole rice situation went down. To which Gabby responded with, Wow, I forgot about that. Holy shit, but wow, and ha ha. Somebody responded with, Wait, what did he say? To which Gabby said, He was right next to me when it happened. Came up to me right after and sat with me for like an hour, saying that it was so fucked up and he can't believe he put his hands on me, asking me if I was okay then made a Twitter statement calling me a liar. Thank you for reminding me, I almost felt bad. If you are not familiar with the whole Gabby Hanna Rice Gum situation, basically, Gabby Hanna came forward and said that Rice Gum physically assaulted her at someone's birthday party and smashed her phone, and it turned into this whole ordeal online. Everybody was talking about it. Here is a clip of what Romeo had to say about Gabby in the Rice Gum situation. Gum, I'm cool with Gabby, so this is completely non-biased. Um, I was sitting right there and I saw the whole thing happen, and I feel like a lot of misinformation is being thrown around, and also the whole thing's being overly exaggerated. Um... So basically, you know, what happened was me and Rice Gum were talking, you know, chit-chatting or whatever, catching up, and, you know, Gabby sits on the couch and sticks the camera in his face snapping, you know, and obviously, you know, she didn't mean any harm by it, she was just joking around, but she just keeps snapping and snapping, you know, and, um, you know, we're at a birthday party, so I feel like maybe it's not the right place and situation to be doing, you know, that kind of stuff, because, you know, everyone's drinking, so it's not like everyone wants to be on camera and things like that. Um, so, you know, so he tells her, like, hey, can you, can you not post that? And I think maybe she didn't realize that he was being serious and thought that maybe he was joking. So she just kept snapping and, you know, doing more snaps, talking about the diss and, and on the video, you know, or whatever. And, you know, he, he asked her, I think maybe like two or three more times, like, hey, can you not post that? And she just kept filming and he just jumped up, you know, and went to reach for her phone. And she's sitting on the couch, he's standing up. And it was more of like a tug of war, you know, them pulling the phone back and forth, maybe for a few seconds. And then he snatched the phone out of her hand and slammed down the ground and broke the phone and then walked out. Um, was he being aggressive? Yes, definitely. Definitely more aggressive than he should have been um, for the situation. Did I see him hit her? Definitely not. Did he twist her arm? Definitely not. Um, he wasn't pinning her down. He didn't hit her. He didn't twist her arm. I, I would say honestly that this was just, you know, it was more of like a tug of war between, you know, grabbing the phone and he slammed the phone down and broke it. That's pretty much all that really happened. I feel like the whole situation is being completely blown out of proportion over exaggerated. I understand, you know, everyone's upset, but I mean, that's really what happened and that's all there really is to it. Um, he left. I talked to him afterwards. Um, he sent $2,000 like right away pretty much to pay for the phone and obviously the phone doesn't cost 2000 bucks, so, you know, um, and... Yeah, that's pretty much all that happened. Um, I understand she was really upset. Uh, he's probably really upset too. I think the whole thing is just, you know, I would, I would compare it to an aggressive argument. You know, I think honestly, you know, people just get an argument and a disagreement and, you know, it turns a little bit aggressive, but no one was hit. If you are familiar with that whole rice gum Gabby Hanna situation, please let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on that down below in the comment section. And now let's talk about what Trisha Paytas had to say about Romeo Lacoste. In some now deleted tweets, Trisha Paytas had this to say. Romeo Lacoste is a piece of shit. Literally couldn't listen to seven minutes of it. As someone who was being taken advantage of by people I was fans of at a young age, it's super traumatizing, inappropriate, and criminal. Also lying and victim blaming? This is 2019. Close to being 18 is not 18. What the fuck? Then right after he says he thinks he was being taken advantage of? Do not reverse this shit. You're a grown man. Anyone with a Romeo tat needs to get that shit removed. Trisha continued with the following. Why did he do that interview? Like WTF. He was better off keeping his mouth shut and accepting what repercussions were coming. Anyone defending him is also a piece of shit. I really wish that Trisha Paytas did not delete all those tweets about Romeo Lacoste because yes, they're harsh, but guess what? That's what this situation needs. It needs more and more people, especially people with huge fucking platforms, speaking out about this because you cannot allow someone to get away with such behavior like being a pedo. 
I honestly hope more and more influencers, especially larger ones, come forward and speak out about Romeo Lacoste. Maybe they can tell their interactions with him, or maybe they can tell if they've seen something with him. But more attention needs to be brought to this situation. What is your opinion about what Gabby Hanna had to say about Romeo Lacoste? Also, what is your opinion about what Trisha Paytas had to say about Romeo? Please let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And that is it for this video, everyone. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please follow all of my social media down below that's in the description. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!